Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to explain what pre-installs are, and also how to use them. So do bear in mind that for this you will need either Pebblehost Premium, or you will need to have bought the mod pack add-on, as pre-installs are locked behind that. So to access your pre-installs, you want to go down to server type and click the jar and pre-install menu. Once you're here, you can see on the bottom left, you have pre-installs, and there is different launchers and other stuff like that. So as you can see, if I go to the CurseForge tab, these are loads and loads of mod packs that are available to download from CurseForge. And it's really, really simple to install them, just taking a matter of seconds. So let's find a mod pack that we want to download. So let's just go for a random one called HR New Beginnings. We'll then select it and click save at the bottom right. It will then ask us to run the pre-install, which will basically delete all files apart from this one. So this will mean that your world and everything will be gone. You then want to click run pre-install. And there we go, pre-install will be ran on the next server reboot. So now we can go ahead and restart our server. And while this is downloading, I'm going to go ahead and go on to CurseForge and download the mod pack for myself. So as you can see, I have found HR New Beginnings on the CurseForge launcher. We can go ahead and click on it and click on install. So installing it on your PC may take a little bit depending on how many mods and everything there is. So just give that a little bit, but the server should be done pretty quickly. So as you see, it is still going through everything and it, it might take a little bit, but only at most a matter of minutes. So as you can see, this mod pack, there is 108 mods. So it may take longer for this one than it would other mod packs if they were smaller. And as you can see, this is now done. So once this is installed, we can go ahead and join our server and test it out. And as you can see, it has changed the jar file to forward 1.15.2 as the mod pack is for 1.15.2, as you can see here. Okay, so as you can see, the mod pack has now installed. We'll go ahead and click play and then go ahead and join the server. Okay, so as you can see, it is now loaded. We can go multiplayer, add server, and we can put our server IP in here. If you don't know how to do that, you can go back to Bubblehost, go to the IP and click copy IP. Then you want to go back to Minecraft, click OK. And there we go. Server has been created. We can go ahead and join. Okay, so as you can see, we are in the server. You can see I just opened this and I got loads of things at the bottom. So the mods are working. You can also see the minimap mod and biomes of plenty is here. As you can see, we've got a sprout from biomes of plenty. And if we do go ahead and op myself, let's give myself op. There we go. I can then go into game mode creative. And as you can see, we have all the mods fully installed correctly. So pre-installs are a really, really easy way to get into Minecraft mod packs. And they require just minutes of your time. And just like that, you can have a server set up with your friends to play a mod pack. Then let's say you do get bored. You can just go back to Pebble Host. Go to the giant pre-install menu, click yes I'm sure, and find another mod pack. Let's go for example, all the mods 3, we'll click save, and run pre-install. And now once we restart, it'll be installing all the mods 3. It's that simple to change it, and it is that simple to set up. Anyway, hopefully this did help you. If it did, definitely leave a like, and also subscribe, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.